It's been a while since I've done a video on Deshaun Watson. I think it's probably been a couple months since I last did a video on him. But recently, you know, he, you know, he's been on a suspension. He's been on a, a I think, eleven game suspension, and he's just now getting ready to play in his first game since that suspension. Mind you, there's only 16 games in the regular season of the NFL, so he's already missed over half of the season right now, way over half of it, to be honest, and it's set to be this upcoming Sunday. So I, so you have that, but the weirdest thing about what I'm about to tell you is going to, it blew my mind when I read it, and it's going to blow your mind when you hear it. So we all know Deshaun Watson had a whole horde of women accuse him of sexually assaulting them in some way, form or fashion. But that whole thing has been so sketchy since its inception. And I guess they can't hold the L. So I guess they've decided to band together and decided that they are going to go to that game. The first game since his suspension. Yes, you heard that correctly. His accusers are actually going to go to the game in which he will be playing his first game since his suspension. Why? I have no clue. It is the weirdest thing to me. I have never heard anything like that before. That doesn't sound like an accuser to me because I'm like this. Why would you want to be in the same vicinity as the person you have been accusing of for doing or violating you in a sexual way i don't it's weird but i'm gonna go ahead and read this article coming from tmz it was posted november 29 2022 the booze for deshaun watson will be a bit louder when the brown star takes the field in houston sunday 10 of his accusers will be in the building to watch the controversial quarterback play his first game since his suspension ended again we have another story about a black quarterback where th they found a way to try to make something to, to really, really try to make something a blow up or uh, over exaggerated. Is uh, let me continue. Around ten women, along with their attorney Tony Busby, will be inside a suite at NRG Stadium for the 1 p.m. Eastern game, according to the Athletic pitting 27-year-old Watson against his old organization in Texas who drafted him in 2017. I will be there to welcome Deshaun back to Houston, Busby told The Athletic, saying he'd be there with bells and whistles on. Now, this is the attorney talking like this. This is the attorney of the quote-unquote accusers saying this. He sounds like a bitch his damn self. I'll be there with bells and whistles on. It's the... Y'all... I wish this I wish what I'm reading to you right now was unreal, but it's very real. It's unclear which of the more than two dozen women who sued Watson all almost have settled will be attending the game. Busby said he invited all of his clients, but some declined. They all should have declined. Why any of them decided wanted to go is beyond me. And they all got pretty much got a settlement, which means the, it's pretty much done. You got what you wanted, which was money. Right now, you're just doing this to seem like it's a humiliation tactic. Now you're just trolling. Well, they've been doing that, but now it's obvious. As for why they'd go watch and play, Busby wishes to send Deshaun a message. You think you put us behind you, but we are still here. He's talking like he... This Tony Busby guy is talking like Deshaun Watson did something to him personally. That's what it sounds like. Notice he's saying we. He's not saying they as in referring to the women. He's saying we and he's including himself in it as if Deshaun Watson did something inappropriate to him. Of course, Deshaun was suspended 11 games and $5 million this offseason after scores of female massage therapists accused him of acting improperly during sessions. He hasn't seen NFL action since January 3rd, 2021. Watson was never charged criminally. This is some weird behavior, especially on the behalf of that attorney, because the, the attorney, this Tony Busby guy, he's the one that's pumping this out there. He's the one that's pushing this forward. He keeps saying we at again. He is he's making it sound like Deshaun Watson did something personally to him, like he personally attacked him, which wasn't the case. I, I don't get it. Are you upset that you lost your cases? Like I said, the 
clients got what they wanted out of the deal. They got what they wanted, which was money. What more can they want? The only ones that have a lick of sense are the ones that decline even going. The fact that this Tony Busby character even offered to ask these women to attend this game as nothing more than a humiliation and an intimidation tactic is showing how bitch made he is. And in case y'all wanted to know who Tony Busby was, this is him. This is the attorney that was representing all of those women. This is the same guy who sent out invitations. Basically, you might as well call them an invitation for these women to go and attend this game. And for what reason? Just to say, you know, that we're there and that we got our eye on you and something like that. For what? It's done. It's a done deal. You as his as the attorney, he got the bulk of everything because I highly doubt those women really got m most of the money that they was trying to get because lawyer fees. He's going to get the most of it anyway. He he benefited the most out of this whole situation. He benefited more than the so-called accusers, but that's not enough for him. So now he's going to go and take these women who probably don't want to be bothered. But hey, some of them like clout. They want attention. So they'll go along with it anyway to continue to taunt this man and they got a suite they're not even out there with the regular people they're in a suite which i'm sure he paid for because i highly doubt they paid for it but yeah this guy is a scumbag tony busby is a fucking scumbag but i'm not surprised i'm not surprised in the least bit this for him isn't about those so-called accusers this is about him getting back at what he at a man he feels he lost to he probably felt he had this one in the bag at the end of the day he still got a bag but it's not it was more than a bag for him because he's probably gotten plenty of bags he's probably living comfortably he's good he's an attorney he's a lawyer but it was about taking Deshaun Watson down he was not successful in getting Deshaun Watson criminally charged with anything he wasn't successful in having Deshaun Watson being locked up for whatever it is he was accused of he wasn't successful at destroying Deshaun Watson the way he wanted him to be destroyed and that was to have him be locked up be criminally charged and destroy his livelihood to the point where he could not even come back and play in the nfl again he probably thought he had a one-up when deshaun watson wasn't playing for a little bit they said that he has this is his first time seeing nfl action since january of last year because he got wrapped up in all these legalities and court cases and all types of stuff like that he wouldn't have been able to focus and the nfl wasn't going to have him so really when you think about it the real villain in this whole situation isn't necessarily those so-called accusers. It's this motherfucker that you see on your screen, Tony Busby.